So as you know, I'm attending a swap meet and it's happening tomorrow. So I better go and prepare my stuff before I completely forget about it again. So there's two groups of plans that I'm taking to the swap. One, is for, one group is for the general swap, which I'm just going to lay on the floor and anyone can take. And another group is for the special swaps that we have pre-arranged in our private group. So first I'm going to gather all, all of my general swaps and that includes this aeonium cuttings that I picked. So I've let them to dry which is why they look sad right now. But if they plant it, it would be all right. And the others are this pig face, orange one from our bush. So I also took several cuttings. They're also looking dry because I've been letting them dry for the past few days. Give it a bit of water and it will get back to health. More for my general swap are these cuttings of blue chalk sticks. So I got a lot from the front and the back. Pretty sure lots of people are looking for this. So that's my contribution. I'm also thinking of bringing along some, some of my potted ones, like this Ionium Haworthy. So this will be for the general swaps as well. Because as I mentioned, there's, there's a whole lot of these in the garden. So I don't mind giving away some. And speaking of whole lot, I also have a lot of imbricatas. I think I'll give three of these. Anything else I'll bring? These were po popular last time. The Senecio Barbetonicus. Maybe I could bring some. So I'll bring two of them. Is there anything else I could bring? You know, just for neatness sake. I decided to put three of these, the Senecio, just to show I have a full, well, two, two sets of full boxes. And now for the special swaps. I've already prepared them a while ago, so I'll just go look for them now. Yes, here's two of them, so I've labeled them already. These are, both of these are afterglows. So I'll just set them aside so you don't forget where they are. Another afterglow. And this is a Fred Ives, Graptoviria Fred Ives. Three down. Now where are the rest? Here. This is a Victor Kane. Raptopetalum Victor Kane. There's a few more. Let me just look for them. Here. This is a Raptopetalum Paraguayense subspecies Paraguayense. One, two, three, four, five. I know there's six. And finally, oh right, this one. Nope, not that one, this. It's an Aeonium bush composed of multiple cuttings. Looks like, looks like uh, the person getting this is really lucky. So these are my special swaps. These are called special swaps because I, we've already agreed 
what we're going to give each other in return. So I've already asked for specific stuff in return for this. As for this ones, I don't really care if I get something in return or not. They're free to pick up as much or as little as they want. That's how it works. Today is the day of the swap and I need to load this into the boot of my car. And here's my swaps all loaded in the car. Time to set up. We're here! Look at all this stuff. Some lovely ones over here. People are still coming in. Yeah. Zach? Did you pick something, Zaki? Can you pick something for me? You want one? You want one? No? Ooh, elegance! Elegance! Got lots of stuff. And it's time to put them in the car. These are what I got from the swap. So a bunch of small plants. Some eoniums. And... A bunch of pots. I'm going to set them on my table so you can see what I got. Looks like some people dropped some jade into my box. Maybe they didn't want this. I'll plant this somewhere. Just keep it here for now. So as you know, I am an I am an Echeveria collector. So for my special swaps, I mostly ask for rosettes. So I have this too. This is a Hercules, and this is also uh, this is also a Hercules. So both of these are Hercules. And as you can see, the young flowers on this one looks like this. Well, will become like this when, once they open up. These are also yellow. There's a difference in their coloring and the size. So it looks like one of them is more mature and has been more exposed to the sun. But otherwise, they're the same. And just so you know, I also have another Hercules of my own. And it's somewhere here where 
it's receiving way, way more sun than the others. So it's also flowering right now. I like having backups and I like rosettes. <laughs> There's no doubt about that. I also got two Aeonium bushes, two of the green types. I'm not sure what their ID is right now. And if you can remember, I don't have much of the, the green types. Uh, the leaf shape would be quite different from the one that I already have now. So it's going to be good to mix them up in the landscape. But for now, since it's already getting warm, they're going dormant soon. So I'll just have to keep them in partial shade. Just let them grow for now. I'm just going to put them out of the way. Maybe somewhere here with the rest of my Aeoniums. I've got a bunch of cuttings here. Some of them are still rooting. Some of them have already rooted. But they're going to stay there. So they won't have to be stressed by the, the heat especially when summer comes. I might have to pick another spot for Aeoniums because this area is going to be filled up soon. But we'll see. One problem at a time. There's this Aeonium cutting. It's originally one of the cuttings that I brought. Looks like uh, one of them didn't get picked up, so it was left in my box. But it looks a bit dry and sad right now, but you know, just if I just pot it up, give it some water, it has already dried out. So it will regrow again, or at least uh, stay dormant, stay sleeping until the next autumn. Here's another Aeonium I got from the swap. This is one of those green types. And according to the person I got it from, this goes really large and I got this because I know for sure that this is not an urbicum like the one that I have over here as you can see the leaves are definitely different this one on the right has some markings in the middle and it has a different slightly different leaf leaf shape it's quite subtle here because they are of different sizes but in person, you would definitely see the differences. So I'm going to move this into a pot, but we'll set it aside for now until it becomes actively growing again. Lastly, I have this small box with a bunch of cuttings and small rosettes. So let me just open it up. Oopsie. So I've got, as you can see, lots of jelly beans. So these are the Sidum Pachyphylums. There's four of them. I got four. Wait, not just four. There's more here. Five and six. So six of the Pachyphylums. And I also got two of the, the smaller types, the Sidum Rubratinctum. They're quite red right now since they have been stressed, but they will revert to uh to their green colors once once they get warmed up. And lastly, no, not lastly, I got two two cuttings of sedums. These are sedum rupestre blue feather, or was it blue mist? No, yeah, it's blue feather. They're a bit dry right now because they have been cut maybe a few days ago or maybe a week. But if I set them into the soil, into a landscape and water them, they would go alive once more. And finally, yep, as you know, I've been doing landscapes and I'm trying to fill up an area with elegance. So I've got four, four of them. So here's one, two, three, and four. Oh, I have three of the blue feather. So 
So that's what I got from the swaps, as well as some pots and this propagation punnets. So this would be good for seedlings and small cuttings, I guess. I need to expose this Hercules to some sun, but right now, you know, if I put them directly under the sun, they would just get burnt because it looks like they aren't used to it yet. So I'm going to place them right at the edge of the eaves where I place some other plants. So here you go. And you're going to stay there for at least maybe a week or so. Before I move them out here. And speaking of moving out, maybe these guys can be transferred over to the neglect area. Because they've been here for a bit over a week now. Yep, I guess that's what I'll do later on. Now back to my swaps. I'm going to put up these two aeoniums now. Before they dry out even more. So this one has a nice long stem. And I could just pot it up directly. Let me just go grab my spade. almost full so I'll just shake it off shake the soil so they get level and add a bit more yeah so that bit should be good enough I'm going to leave it here with the rest of my aeoniums for now you're going in the shade but I'll be moving you no, they're going dormant. I might as well just leave them there. And then there's this one, which originally used to be from my Aeonium patch, and it's going back. But I guess in a pot for now. It's going to stay there until it starts growing again. Should be enough soil. Yep. Could add a few more. That should be enough. 